Hello. Hey, hey, episode uh, two. Uh, yep, it's episode two something. Uh, welcome back to the official podcast. Jackson and I were actually talking before this. He wanted to Damn, once again you. rant about shitty horror writing. If you'd like to take it away, Jackson. <laughs> what well, was specifically? We didn't discuss this at all beforehand. So <laughs> what, immediately what, thrown me under the bus. What great. do you mean two, this two sentence horror thing that you wanted to rant about? Oh, oh, that. Uh, sorry. So we we just came off watching. What did we watch? I immediately forgot. Bye bye man. We watched Bye bye man. So I, that's what I thought you were talking about. But yeah, before oh, that. Yeah. Before well, that, we were too. talking about like actual subreddits uh, designed around horror. And have you guys heard of r slash no, no. two sentence horror? You've definitely yeah, brought it up here on the podcast there. before. It oh my god, it is so fucking bad. So the design goal or purpose of the subreddit is people create their own little fictional stories uh horror stories but the rules are that they can only do so in two sentences one in the uh subreddit uh, the thread title and the other in the actual post so it usually goes like um like there's a there's a cliffhanger in the first uh you know line and then like a scary answer at the end so the top <laughs> the top the, look, look they're fucking awful the, okay I'll, I'll i'll read the so it's r slash two sentence horror, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. So I'm going in blinds. The first top most voted of all time is um All my life my parents have told me not to open the basement door, but I got curious and disobeyed them. Now the body of the post says, What is that glowing ball in the sky and why does it hurt my eyes? That Ooh, is what spooky. I was laughing at. That's literally a ripoff of a joke from a famous stand up comedian. I'm trying to find his name. Uh, Emo Phillips tells that joke as part of his stand-up. That's not horror. That's a literal joke that they ripped off. <laughs> the okay, way that so he tells it is it? he... The ways that he fucking tells it in his stand-up is he goes, My parents always said never open the basement door. They said never open it. I wouldn't be ready for what was in there. Don't open it. And when I finally did, I saw shocking and wondrous <laughs> things like trees and clouds. And then everyone laughs. They literally stole a fucking stand-up comedian's joke and turned it into a horror story. <laughs> oh god! Well, I read the comments. Okay. I bet they. I bet they call it out. Ooh, let's find out. Uh, also, but this has forty yeah, thousand upvotes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh so my Christ! Edo no, says no, it first... reminds me. Go ahead. It reminds me of The Outsider by H.P. Lovecraft. I know, it's a fucking, they're fucking complimenting him. He stole a joke. Great twist, <laughs> oh, Great twist. this is the kind of simple th- smart horror that hits you after a second or two that I come to the subreddit for. Great work. He <laughs> yeah, stole so, a goddamn joke from like the 80s. Wait, wait, Fuck so this, me. I was talking to Charlie and this is what actually frustrates me the most. It's not that they're like creating this kind of fan fiction because it's existed forever, like... This is Tumblr style shit. It's the fucking comments that get me. The, the, you you wade into the comments on these threads and they're actually scared. These people are like horrified <laughs> by the things they're reading. It's like, who are you? Who, like, how sensitive are you as a person that you're getting terrified by these shitty two sentence horror? Well, maybe it's threads. like, it's what crazy. if it's little children? Maybe it's like thirteen year olds on the subreddit. You who scared themselves know before it's bed. not. You know for yeah, a I fact know. this is. I adults. know. I'm, I'm coping. I know. Uh, okay. yeah, I don't know, Second man. One. I feel like this would be kids. I don't think adults are going to read two sentence horror stories seriously. Oh yeah, I Andrew. Doubt well, it. listen to this spooky tale. When the kidnapper made me guess where he kept my daughter, I went for the basement, and he said correct, allowing me to see her. But when I found her severed head in there, I learned that every other choice would have been correct as well. (laughs) 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 This is so lame. It seems like like most of the premises are going to be when I found out that I had a math test, I was worried, but then the math test turned out to be a ghost. (laughs) It's it's like, oh no. Andrew, then you go into the fucking comments and you scroll down just a tiny little bit and, and this is the top comment. It's like, now that's what I call a twist. Well done. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> that's, not, it's not as, that's not as bad as the ones that I was reading back like a, a week or so ago. The ones there were like a lot more just right in your face. One of them was, 
And there I stood at the doorway looking at my son, him looking back at me with those bodies on those hooks again or something. Like, they, it's <laughs> now, really bad. If you, I've always said, if you want the best content from a subreddit, you check two <laughs> places. You check the top of all time, and then you check the most controversial yeah. of all time. Yes, I would like to read the most controversial. I love the controversial yeah, tab. I want to read the most because controversial it's... story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. All right, here we go. My friends invited me to a night party held at school, oh. but I refused. And then you open it. Too bad for them, because they're all dead. <laughs> That's one of the better ones. That's an update. That's a real me. classic. That's actually pretty scary, Andrew. <laughs> oh, it sent chills down my spine. I think I just shit in my pants. <laughs> I, I love the controversial tab on Reddit because it, it'll be like a subreddit for furry inflation art porn or something, and somebody will post something that's not quite that, and everybody is like, you're not welcome here. Downvote. <laughs> Report it to the moderators. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a hypothesis. What if these aren't children? They're just people who... So my hypothesis is there actually are people who watch horror movies seriously and get scared by them. What if it's them who? people? Who? I don't know, but I don't. I don't consider exist, myself. Right? I don't consider myself a particularly brave person. Like I, I you know, I, I feel scared sometimes from scary things. I've been known to yell, oh, yeah, like, me too. scream at jump scares and stuff like that. But this is just so far from anything that could even be like I don't know, even close to scary. It's like, it's devoid of anything that makes anything scary. I don't understand how That's it's scary. That's not true. Did you not hear about how the boy had bodies on hooks? That's pretty scary. It's not even in detail, so you can't even really imagine it. <laughs> I, I can okay. see it. Uh, one of the top voted ones, again, battery at 1%. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I looked at Earth one last time before my suits ran out of power. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> so <those> astronauts. <laughs> That's so scary for astronauts. Do you think astronauts are sitting up on the ISS right now reading that and shitting their pets? Or suits, I mean? No, I think no, I think 14-year-old teenagers are reading this going so relatable. When I look at my phone and it's at 1%, I run for my charging cable. That's like yeah, that is pretty scary. scary. <laughs> but the, these top voted ones aren't even like the worst offenders. I think the top voted ones... Well, the, okay, yeah, they're, tell they're us, still um, shit. No, I, I, tell I, us I your know, favorite I worst ones. I don't, no, I don't have any like stockpiled... I, don't, I would have to go through and find them again. Oh, my God. So I'm, I'm reading through the top of all time. I got another good one. So it turns out you can feel everything that happens to your body after death. I suppose I should be flattered that my husband still finds me attractive. Like, these oh, aren't horror no. stories. These are jokes. That's a horror. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a joke. Like a that's like a stand-up comedian joke. No, that's very clearly a romance story. They're on the wrong subreddit. That's two-sentence love stories. <laughs> these you need, are... <laughs> instead of going to all time, you need to go to the week because these are significantly worse. That's what I would assume. <laughs> Read one. Uh, here, I'll just... I'll do a random one that I haven't already vetted. <laughs> this one has 5,100 <laughs> updates four days ago. It says... My mom kicked me out of the house for tickling my little brother's feet. I knew I should have waited until he was born. <laughs> Ew, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, are you guys just like, are you missing that the point that this is a comedy subreddit secretly? I have no uh, idea. I like yeah, yeah the they, these are not like scary. These are genuinely funny. Th these are actual <laughs> jokes. <laughs> well, no. Right, rule, like, rule three, I, I can I see... Don't, I don't know. I, like, I say, can see wait, Bill Burr hunched Kaya, over Kaya. a... What? Rule three, said, rule 3 on the subreddit says be intended to be horrifying. So I don't think they're meant to be jokes. Most of these are funny, <laughs> though. I know. Yeah, this oh, is like the kind of... like uh, I was going to say, I can imagine Bill Burr hunched over a notebook, like scrapping lines, like, eh, this one's not good enough, but this one's pretty fucking funny. Like, oh, I fingered my brother while he was still with my mom. Like, <laughs> <"Hara."> <laughs> <laughs> There's infinite material here. Just, if you're going to steal jokes, just go through it. My mom always said that my baby brother is an angel. I sat there crying to her on the balcony, trying to explain I thought angels could fly. So you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> These are so <laughs> dumb. Fuck. All right. I got a good one for you. This one really scared the shit out of me. Like, oh, all right. You 
You're far too young to be piloting that robot, gasped the soldier as he dragged the kid out of the downed enemy Gundam that had wiped out his <laughs> entire squad. And then, what? <laughs> and, then you open, and then you open the scary, the scary post and it reads, this is an automated AI controlled unit. The pilot is just for show, replied the Gundam as it stood up, crushing the humans underfoot. Wow. How many updates does that have? Almost 4,000. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I did, again, I just clicked on that thread, uh, Andrew. One of the top comments says, Bro, I literally did a double take and had to come back. What? <laughs> you, 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 oh, you, were you were so Click on that guy's name. Back. See? Yeah, what other I'll subreddits does he read? I'll do a little bit of research. God, I every in fucking like r slash teenagers and r slash Wait, no, acne or every something. Every fucking comment on this Gundam one is either Gundam or even Jelly in references. Like, god damn it! Of course, that's why it has up boats. So his Ready? username, he's the the guy that I'm clicking on. His username ends in an eighty-seven, which indicates to me that he was born in nineteen eighty-seven, perhaps. So that's how oh. old? Thirteen. Like he's what he's a thirty-year-old um, person. These mm. actually all do read like jokes, to be honest. Like they, like yeah. I don't even see how it could be construed as horror. So like this one has 10k up doodles. It was only after 12 feet of digging through wet and suffocating oh, mud no. by hand that it struck me. They must have buried me face down. <laughs> yeah, these are jokes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They, I, but it's not meant as jokes from them. That's what it's jokes to us. Yeah. Uh, so you guys know those websites where you can put in a subreddit name or a reddit user and it tells you the people who read this subreddit also read these other subreddits so i didn't know that was a thing the most common ones with two uh, sentence horror are short scary stories two sentence sadness no sleep the monkey's paw ask uja tumblr writing prompts shitty superpowers and jokes at the very end there is jokes so maybe it is a joke sub i don't <laughs> What is <laughs> or, that, that all makes sense. That all does make sense. Yeah, that all, that I, all plays. I, I'm just becoming a fan of the ones that are like. So there are ones that are jokes. Okay, hang on, let me start over. There are ones that come off as jokes. There are ones that come off as actually trying to be scary. I'm just enjoying the ones that are nothing, like the Gundam one. I found another <laughs> classic. If we don't find anyone before we're 40, we should marry each other, <laughs> she said, putting on the suit. The same hazard suit he wore for the past five years on regular trips outside the bunker into the radioactive wasteland that the Earth became. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's, the, that's, that's the kind of two-sentence horror I can get behind. That, that oh, tells them. Okay, you guys, uh, I'm fucking shaking. Uh, you guys. I'm going in. I'm going into r slash two-sentence sadness. No, 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 no. 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 I love you, my dear, forever and always, my mother whispered to me. I pressed play on the voicemail again, having learned long ago that forever and, forever and always doesn't always matter if you come out of the closet. <laughs> oh. oh, that was really sad, Kai. <laughs> Way to deflate the mood, man. Come on. <laughs> Day ruined. <laughs> Trying to enjoy some... Just friendly two sentence horror here. Just trying to get spooked. I, I wanted to see the sh horror so short stories, but they're they're still pretty long, like too long to read. Yeah. That's see, that's that's what I, that's that is what I appreciate about two sentence horror. They know when to keep it like short and sweet. You know. Yeah, this one it's really terrible. This one, uh, I'm actually getting kind of fucking scared. It was just another day down at the park with my friends until <laughs> one hundred twenty-eight billion nine hundred eighteen million eight hundred eighteen thousand one hundred ninety-nine dead raccoons fell from the sky. Damn. That's it. I'm, I'm what? Yeah, what? Uh, <laughs> Two hundred. Am I? Oh, Am okay. I supposed and to understand something awards. from that number? Does it like I, I when you turn know. it on its head? Does well, it spell well, boobies? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you see but Kyle, I can tell a lot you of raccoons. Well, I will say though that two sentence sadness does its job because it's depressing as shit. Um, I catch my wife smiling gleefully in the mirror as she discovers her dress fits more loosely. Text, please. I beg her, please eat something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who, man, <laughs> Who goes there and reads that shit? At least I can kind of understand wanting to be scared, but to go there and just like read sad porn? What the fuck? <laughs> 
I like this one. I live by myself and I still put a Christmas tree up. This year, and then the text, this year there was a present addressed to me under it. So Santa came. That's his fucking story. Santa left you a present. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that's horrifying. Is there like Is two seconds horror? happiness or something? <laughs> God, you fucking idiots. Who's writing this shit? Hey, As it turns out, <laughs> creepy pastas and SCPs. Same. It's all yeah. the same garbage. Well, no, uh, well, SCP okay, started look, cool. Hang on, SCP hang on. started for, cool. For SCPs, I really think it's children now. I, I think SCPs kids. used to it kind of take be. itself seriously, yeah. but now it's all children who won't read that shit. SCP started good. It's just any kind of thing where you open it to the, just the unwashed masses, it's going to turn into shit. Yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll have I, you guys know, though, the top people who look up two sentence horror, they come from Gru, Nose and Minion, Anus. So that's cool. a subreddit, I guess. What, what, did you just, what did you just say? Gru, Nose, and Minion Anus? Minion yeah. Anus? Is that a subreddit? They oh, have no... Uh, down the rabbit hole. They have no posts, unfortunately. I, want, I thought I was going to find a bunch of Minion porn. I want you guys to try to guess the twist to this one. It's a real shocker. And it, it mm -hmm. has 12,000 okay. right. 12, upvotes. All right. I'm ready. As it turns out, every time I die, I go back in time 10 seconds to try to prevent my death. He can't oh, do it. He's killing it's been himself. many years. It takes 10 mm -hmm. seconds to recharge. He's mm -hmm. power. You're close, Jackson. I know, because it was a fucking Futurama episode. Oh, he's he's crashing in an airplane. Very close. Or the fall from the building was about 11 seconds. That, that's literally a Futurama <laughs> episode. That is, hey that is exactly the final episode of Futurama. What? Uh, I don't remember classic. anything like that. Uh, oh, might, yeah, it you is. Where it early Lila, the one where, where they repeat the universe stuck. over and over. Uh, it's the final episode. He, Fry has a button that he keeps pressing every 10 seconds that sends him 10 seconds back in the past and he's falling off a building. Oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah, remember I, that. I vaguely remember that. Yeah. That's the one where they reset the universe at the end, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's the most recent ending. Yeah. They, they just stole that. Anyway. <laughs> All uh, right, I got, a, I got another classic. My five-year-old son threw his Christmas present against the wall and screamed that he wanted a fucking PS5. We stood there with our mouths hanging open, staring at the lifeless body of his newborn sister. <laughs> Who wraps up a child? <laughs> Why, would, Why you gotta put holes in the box, bro? Who puts a child in a box as a present? <laughs> uh. Now, Andrew, is that something I could wrap my wiener in, perhaps? Uh, cellophane, plastic wrap. Yeah. Well, yeah. is there anything slightly more comfortable? Oh, you, you wanted something comfortable. Well, <laughs> yeah. in that case, me undies. Oh, it's thank absolutely. You. Mm -hmm. Going to be the most comfortable more. thing for your dick and balls, Jackson. Thank you. Perfect. Is someone you I love? Did. Is someone you love in a relationship with someone who tells the same joke over and over? Are they like a starfish in bed? Let me ask you a question, though. Is this person you? Because oh, relationships no. are not perfect. They're not. They got some. They got some ups, some downs, some lefts, some rights. But me undies can celebrate perfectly imperfect relationships with their new Valentine's Day collection. Gifting underwear for someone this Valentine's Day, that's incredible. But what's even more incredible is gifting them me undies, because it'll show that you actually care about the soft, silky underwear that they wear when they crawl into bed with you and say, not now, I'm not in the mood. If you're single, mingle, and ready to wear some matching pairs with your friends or family, you can go ahead and get all the fun limited edition prints that you could ever want. You can even get dog hoodies now or buddy bands Ooh, to match aw. your four legged BFF. So if you've got a tiny little pet and you want them to wear the same underwear as you, well, of number one, do. that's aw. that's something I didn't that's think of, that I would find someone who thought. But number two, that's a fun little idea that you can do with me undies. Be sure to check out all of me undies, super cute and super soft undies, socks, bralettes, loungewear, and more available in sizes extra small to 4XL. Me undies is currently offering you out there a fun matching pairs Valentine's Day offer, which will get you 25% off your first order. 
of matching pairs. As a first time purchaser, you can also get 15% off and free shipping right to your door. Get 25% off matching pairs, 15% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee if you go to meundies.com slash official. That's meundies.com slash official. All four official boys wear me undies. My girlfriend wears me undies, so it's also for ladies. It's, it doesn't discriminate on the kind of underwear you want. Anyone out there can find a pair at me undies. Mm -hmm. And your dog, too, undies. turns out. Yeah, and your pets Thank can you. now wear me undies. That's that in the outfits is are so cute. It is so adorable. Yeah. Um, so th th this leads to a, a nice little question, though. What do you guys think is the worst subreddit on on um, Reddit? Just just from like a laughing at them perspective. Well, we've uh, already like got an actual... Andrew. Andrew thinks it's our gaming, right? Uh, that's one of them. One of my other favorite ones is Shower Thoughts. Mm. So I'll give you an example. This I used to do streams where I would like go on Reddit and find Reddit subreddits to just laugh at them and make fun of them and roast them. And one that I found that's secretly hilarious is Shower Thoughts. Do you, you guys know what Shower Thoughts is? Yeah. 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 Okay, so to give the audience listening at home an idea, Shower Thoughts is like it's supposed to be like low effort philosophical quandaries and like observations about life things you'd think of in the sh in the shower. So, for example, Here's one of the top ones. In 1998, we made two animated movies about ants and then decided that was enough. It's Damn. like it's like just little things that people think of, you know, but if you sort by controversial, you get some uh, dangerous some thoughts. real, real good ones. For example, Gordon Ramsay is probably the only male in history to tell a woman to get out of the kitchen, dude. <laughs> Why is that controversial? Some real good ones. Uh, that's probably oh. true, right? God, I hate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. To so wear good. milk toast. to wear pink as a guy, you either have to be really masculine or not masculine at all. Ooh, Whoa. what a what a deep thought. Giving oh, someone a, a wet willy like. is technically <laughs> ear rape. Jesus. Like, <laughs> yeah. What is this? Two, okay. two sentence sad again? What's this that is uh, shower thoughts controversial. There are some real good ones in there. <laughs> Bringing up like air rape like that. Platitudes. Yeah. Wait. Is that two oh, sentence here's a, here's, a, here's a classic. If we all if we all become vegans, animals like cows, pigs, and chickens will go extinct because we will no longer need them. All right. <laughs> Wait, they only exist because we <laughs> need them? Uh, you're just not understanding the deep level of these thoughts, Jackson. I'm pretty sure if we just let them be free, they'd oh, find a oh, way here's, to... Here's Jackson, a classic Reddit. Reddit. Here's right a, now. It'll make sense. Here's a classic <laughs> Reddit one. Jesus is Santa for adults. Ooh, got him. Ooh, got him. Got him. Oh, slash atheism, baby. <laughs> Wubba lubba dub dub. Yeah, hey, got hey, him. Christians, did you know that water doesn't have enough surface tension to sustain an adult human? That's right. <laughs> got, got him. him. <laughs> Jesus probably drowned. Uh. <laughs> God, I hate Reddit. Anyway, Charlie, your contribution, please. I really think we talked about this. I can't remember what I Probably, chose back but then. This, the new Reddits are created all the time, though. That's what I love about Reddit. I don't know any, like, new dog shit subreddits, though, off the top of my head. You want to know a really sad subreddit, though, that I just remembered the other day? Mm -hmm. Anthem. The oh, Anthem man. subreddit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that is, there's still a what couple people them? over there keeping the dream live, and it's really sad. Just move on, yeah. please. Please. Like one of the top posts is from a day ago. It just says, damn you, Anthem. I still think about you quite frequently. Dream of flying around your majestic world. Oh. There's a lot this of people is, sad that the game sucks. And it's, it's, it's a shame, sad. yeah. Uh, well, maybe they're right. Maybe in a couple weeks or months, it'll finally be fixed. Uh, just remember, it was only a beta. They've yeah. got plenty of time to fix it. Of course, of course. What about you, Kai? You're the most redditor of any of us here, so you should know. Uh, definitely. Um, uh, Is there anything actually dark, like Colombian uh, child 
kidnappers or anything I have, like that. Jackson, I showed you. So because Spotify is doing it and it got popular, the wrapped, Spotify wrapped, I think Reddit is doing it as now as well. And their, and their featurette of my best comments of the year was literally my only comments of the year where I made fun <laughs> of Reddit for hiring a pedophile. <laughs> and I was showing up. <laughs> my Reddit's wrapped up, so that was my last interaction with that website. <laughs> and it had one upvote <laughs> that's pretty big though that's a that's a big up dude yeah that's uh, huge dude you can cash out at the bank that's a nice reddit wrapped so what, <laughs> they just like congratulated you for bad mouthing them that's such a reddit thing to do <laughs> i i think the algorithm just didn't have anything else to work with like, or, like hey, oh, remember when you called out our moderator pedophiles <laughs> we were not great <laughs> <laughs> I got another uh, got another controversial shower thought here. I want to see if you guys if you really resonate with this deep thinking. Hash browns for breakfast, but not fries. Bacon for breakfast, but not hamburgers. Only its shape determines when you can eat a food. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> really, really does make you think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty deep thinking, right? <laughs> okay, what about really actual <laughs> Andrew, can you look up actual comedy subs? Is there like two sentence jokes or anything? I sure. Wanna, no. Wait, I want to know if there's two sentence porn. Can we come in two sentences? I, I, tr I <laughs> looked it up. I don't porn think there is. Porn ads have told me that it's possible, so it has to exist somewhere. I'm trying two sentence laughs. Well, that didn't work. Two, two sentence, sentence humor. Um, let's see. Oh my god, these are way too long. I walked in on my son masturbating today. It's okay though, he's still too young to know what I was doing. Oh, what the fuck? Uh-huh. That's, that's a oh. fucking... I've heard that joke told by someone. Jesus. What kind of set of comedians are you listening to? <laughs> <laughs> that was Jared Fogel's tight 60. <laughs> well, the, the original joke is... The, the original joke is I walked in on my son masturbating... Or I walked in on my son masturbating... And I said, you know, son, if you keep doing that, you'll go blind. And he said, Dad, I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Well, that's, yeah. That's These better. are all stand-up <laughs> jokes rewritten. <laughs> well, no, that was a bit different. That was, that yeah, was that, an actual that was, joke. That was very uh, different from the other one. Yeah. True. Poor Redditors. What has to go wrong here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so, oh, they're so destitute and downtrodden. But there's so many of them. most depressed. <laughs> There's so many of them. Like, you're rubbing uh, shoulders with Redditors when you go outside, and that's what sickens me. It's more oh than no, I don't want to think yeah. about it. I mean, Reddit's one of the most, like, normy, regular, populated fucking websites on the internet. It gets over a billion views a month. Like, I know. That's why yeah. it's so lame, though. But also, keep in mind, like, it's... Compared to all the other social media sites, it's a complete loser. Like, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, they've all... They have way more traffic than Reddit does. They fucked something up. I did find the two sentence comedy subreddit. If you guys want to get a load of these, yeah, is it just repost of the horror? Yeah, no. but with like a different tone. <laughs> uh, the number one updated of all time. My girlfriend once caught me masturbating to an optical illusion. I told her it's not what it looks like. Hey. How is that less funny than the horror subreddit? Yeah, uh, yeah actually, the yeah. horror subreddit's funnier, which is impressive. Here, here's a good one. When Thanos is choking you, you're low key scared. Oh God, Jesus! <laughs> I just I, I, I hate, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate, it. I hate what the internet's become. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard genuine like pain in Charlie's voice in a long time. And there it was. It's Reddit humor is just on like this different level of it's, embarrassing. It's <laughs> Tumblr know. again. It's Tumblr humor again. It's just oh. uh, it's just yeah, that. I guess. Yeah, but Tumblr, you can cut them some slack. It's like, no, oh, this person is thirteen, whatever. Their first, this is their first foray into comedy and like, yeah, that's what makes jokes. it sad. These people are like twenty five, guaranteed at least. But no, there's there's <laughs> kids on Reddit as well. I know, but like there are a lot of adults as well. I don't know. Yeah, it's sad. All right, let's change subjects a little bit. Charlie, tell us what's happening with streamers. Why are they taking advantage of the? Uh, Copyright systems. How, oh, much can, how much can you guys get away with? How far yeah. can you push the envelope? 
That's pretty fucking wild. So a lot of the top streamers are just straight up streaming full movies and full mm-hmm. television shows, full anime. Like last night, the biggest streamer was streaming just Hunter Hunter uninterrupted from Crunchyroll. So literal content locked behind paywalls. Streamers are just broadcasting for free, which is obviously illegal. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's so just, far... It- so far, Pokimane's no, the only one that's been banned because she did that with Avatar, but I think that's just the first domino to fall. It's just a matter of time now as it continues. Why now, Why are they doing but, this? How? Yeah, why and how? It's got, is it ego? Is it just ego? I think ego's a big part of it, and I think the other part of it is I think quite a few of them are okay with being banned because it gets them like publicity, yeah. a little break, and then they come back They just back do a bigger. comeback. I, yeah. That's what I don't understand. You, Twitch needs to take a harder stance on this kind of shit because time and time again, these bans have proven to be extremely ineffective. All it is is a paid holiday, essentially. <laughs> you just said I feel like that's the point holiday. almost. Isn't there a website even that tracks how many times some big streamers have been banned and you look at it and it's like, oh, this person got banned 17 times for spreading her asshole into the camera. And every time it was a three-day ban. I know there's a Twitter account that anytime a big YouTuber streamer is banned, yeah, they announce it and what number banned it is. Oh, yeah. It's just one of those things where so far it's only been one person it's happened to, so they don't view it as a big deal. And since she was only banned for two days, they don't think it's like a harsh punishment, so it's worth the risk. It's very short-sighted. It's it's a really dumb idea. I don't understand how these big streamers with the teams that they have aren't being told that if they're willingly broadcasting paid content for free and knowingly distributing this content for free, that it's an actual crime they could be personally sued for. It's, it's no such a large liability. Yeah, it, there's, it's literally no different than taking like the Hunter Hunter torrent and just posting it online on the Pirate Bay. But then this is a step further where you're doing that and you're putting your name and face on it publicly and saying that, yes, I know I am doing this. People, a, what frustrates me the most is that it's one, poking a sleeping bear and it's, there's just like no need for it. Like it, these streamers have such a large ego that they think that they run the world it look it seems to me like that's what it feels like they just uh, it's just really it really puts me off streamers in general like th- these live streamers doing it and secondly it's it uh, i what why what like what do they gain from this well, well it's, it's, nobody, actually it's no different than what you and I did today, them. Jackson, with Bye Bye Man. It's just fun to watch we're and not, joke with people about that content. We're not post... Yeah, a lot of people don't seem to know what transformative means. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that's true, but that's why they do it, because the content is fun. Watching shit with people, joking about it with people is fun. That's why they do it. But they're pushing it way too far with what they're choosing to do it for, like paywalled productions i mean i think twitch wants it too not not this not illegally but they tried this with twitch watch along or watch party or something that yeah, was but that called was only, only with content that amazon Prime. already owned yeah right but i'm just saying like i think they also understand twitch understands that it is fun for your favorite streamer yeah. to watch something and you to join them but i figure i guess the big streamers just don't get reported to the authorities um like I fucking do when I f- allegedly tore into John Wick 2 that one time <laughs> or my nephew did. <laughs> it's bullshit. Yeah, I, I'm really shocked that it's only been Pokimane so far. I am absolutely shocked that the people that have rebroadcasted Netflix shows and Crunchyroll shows have not seen a problem yet. And I think the only reason they haven't is because it's only about a week or two weeks old. I feel like a company like Crunchyroll or Netflix would probably try and sue as opposed to just a DMCA takedown. That's always the impression I got. I think Crunchyroll Crunchy would for sure. I think Crunchyroll the, would. Yeah. yeah. I think the people doing this are really fucking self-centered. I, I think this is genuinely extremely it, shitty. There's already that's what I enough. Mean by there's already enough garbage that creators have to go through with DMCA and copyright and all that shit, and these guys are just going to make it worse. 
by flagrantly just doing this, they're just going to cause the companies to crack down even harder and make it and even yeah. more restrictive. Yeah, it never you know, hurts these point. streamers that are at the top. It's always the yeah. fucking smaller channels that suffer from Yeah, so the big streamers at the top, changes. they'll sit down and they'll go, hey, let's all watch Hunter x Hunter or Dark Knight or whatever, and then they get their three-day ban, and they come back and they go, oh, I was banned. Isn't that controversial and big? Come watch my channel. Isn't that interesting? And then they can go back to whatever the fuck they were doing before, because it doesn't matter. Meanwhile, a smaller channel gets banned for that same thing, and maybe they were on the up and up with it, or maybe something was happening, and now they're just gone. Because once they get banned, Dude, people aren't YouTube, coming back. They, if you like even accidentally play an advertising while streaming anything else, and it plays like a movie ad or something, they, the company can claim your whole video as theirs, and get all your advertising revenue and shit, and these people are just doing this now. Which is further gonna yeah. maybe, maybe it's a fucking I, inside I, job. Some... Maybe it's a deal they cut with Universal Pictures and Warner Brothers. Like, hey, stream <laughs> anime and The Matrix Four so we can pass more laws to fuck streamers. Well, that's that's what I was thinking. Like this, the way this hurts smaller streamers is maybe Twitch gets pressured by these large, uh, you know, video companies, film companies, and then they have to make sweeping changes to the Twitch bylaws and then charlie can't watch youtube videos anymore or anything yeah, that's like what that. i think will most likely happen if they can't trust streamers to be smart about what they're watching yeah. they'll just ban that like i feel like that's the only way they really handle the problem and that's how it hurts the whole platform as a whole and it's all because that these streamers just constantly push the uh, like the yeah they tow the line well they don't tow the line they step over it just because they can it's just frustrating i, I it's respect the really fact egocentric I respect that there might be some degree that people want to kind of push back against copyright and I, I, there might be some degree of, yeah, you can't just restrict everything and get, you know, this crazy, like with songs, you know, being overheard and st shit like that. But so many of this is just, they aren't fucking considerate. We, they don't well, care. It's saying, ego. Hey, big companies, you think we're going to stream your movies if you relax the copyright laws and then you go, yeah, that's right. We will here. We're streaming the whole movie. <laughs> no, I, I hate like, I hate okay. this shit because we already have pretty comfortable uh, like copyright laws where well not laws but you know it's a situation where as long as we transform the media that we're digesting and using then it's usually okay like yeah it gets demonetized but we're still able to do it. Yeah, I'd say we're in a really comfortable spot right now with what you're actually allowed to show. Like, yeah. brand new movies, if you watch a review, sometimes they'll just use actual fucking clips from the movie, which is 10 mm -hmm. years ago, that was unheard of. You'd go to fucking jail. Yeah. Like, that, that was a big deal. But and yeah, the, really the, song, the, the music industry is a different beast, obviously. The Mu music whole... industry is so fucking outdated. Yeah, that's that hasn't changed at all. But mm -hmm. I, Yeah, but I still feel like we're in a great position with video games and movies, and I yep. think that... This kind of shit just takes a giant shit on that and really just... Uh, you're setting it up to go backwards just because you're selfish and, and you want attention or something. I don't know. It's dumb. Yeah. If you're one of those streamers, go fuck yourself. You know what you could do that makes you better, though, as a human being? You could make it up to me. You could purchase a movement watch. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, God. Good. I mean, we all know the story of movement. There was a tiny apartment in Southern California. Two college dropouts team up to make a watch that'll break all the boundaries, push all the limits, shovel down the competition. And so Movement has grown into one of the fastest growing watch brands on the planet, shipping to over 160 countries across the globe. They will also make sure you're practicing safe scrolling with their best-selling ever scroll blue light glasses. I have been advocating on this show for God knows how long that eye protection should be a big concern for people. We stare at screens way too often. They are far too bright. I, I don't know how people look at screens at their default settings. I have had my three monitors on literally zero brightness since I got them, and I've never wanted to turn them up. I've never had to. And yet you have people who have it on like max brightness because it's like, oh, this is so incredible to look at. I'll be blind when I'm 40. Who cares? Get yourself some blue light glasses. It's a good investment for your eyes. If you want to protect your eyes with style that doesn't break the bank, join the movement and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash official. That's mvmt.com slash official. Thank you, MVMT. Yeah, fuck those streamers.
Um, yeah, they're genuinely just selfish what, what, are, what are their arguments? What are their arguments online? Because I'm sure they're arguing back about this and pretending like they're in there the is right. an Jack, argument. Jackson, I want to, yeah, I want to dissuade what you're saying right now immediately. It does not in any way matter what their argument is. Their true intention is to just get publicity and eyes on them. That's it. No, but I'm more curious from a, like a hypocritical There is stance. a point made that I agree with, and it's one I've said before. I think when media gets too old that it's not harmful to watch it when it's freely accessible yeah. posted on youtube officially from their channel there's no problem in watching it so master chef was the meta so a lot of people were watching master chef which i also did on stream a couple of years ago they were watching like the early seasons which are available on youtube i don't mm -hmm. see why that would be an issue a it's very old the early seasons of master chef are like fucking 10 years old by this point and i see that it could help promote the show for the upcoming seasons so while they're not making money directly off the streamers watching the early seasons, they could at least maybe see some new eyes for upcoming ones. I get that side of the argument, and that's something I agree with. Like, yeah, this is old. It's all freely accessible on YouTube. There's no paywall. This should probably be okay. If but it's freely accessible on a like a public website, I have no problem. With yeah, it. well, no one should. They're, 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 streaming, they're streaming anime from Crunchyroll and shit. Yeah, that's that's where the, the problem. It's not just that. They, they, someone streamed the entire fucking Lord of the Rings trilogy while they went to sleep once. So like, <laughs> it's it's getting <laughs> you completely <laughs> out of hand. <laughs> yeah. So all of this, all of this comes down to money. Literally all of it. That's the entire point of copyright. That's the entire point of all of this. If you're not costing anyone money, it should be fine. So yeah, if it's re-uploaded for free on YouTube by the official source, or if the official source is like, hey, we're letting you download it free here, or whatever. If, yeah. if, if you find it like something where you can say, hey, I am not costing anyone money because here's an official way to do it, then that should all be fine. But anything beyond that is well, not fine because that is costing someone money. And, yeah, and they, it's, it should, it should still be the tried. copyright holder's right to make that decision as well, I think, in, in yeah. terms of if they want to make that thing freely accessible to people. Just like, because something is old, it doesn't mean that people have the right I think to one of the so, someone else's work however they want. I think one of the arguments I saw on Twitter was someone was like, oh, well, I paid for my Crunchyroll subscription and I'm using the content in my stream for content. Therefore, it's transformative. And it's like, no, you're broadcasting a paid service to thousands of people for free. That's not Entirely. how that works. Yeah. A really bad yeah, faith argument I see a lot of is that it's just like video games. We're promoting it, which is so stupid because unlike There's a video so much game, more interactivity. Yeah. Unlike a video game, all you can do with a show or a movie is watch it. So once you've watched it, you are now done with that content. You can watch it again later, yeah. I guess, if you wanted to. But how many people are realistically going to finish a movie with a streamer and then go buy that movie or get tickets to that movie or whatever? With a game, you play it, you control it. You're actively engaging in that media. So when you see a streamer play it, you're like, this looks fun. I now want to engage in that as well, because you can. You're going to play it differently. It's totally different. It's not even comparable. Yeah, the interactivity yeah, is transformative. Uh, That's what it is. Uh, yeah. Well, that and what Charlie said, it's you watch somebody and you go, okay, watching was fun. Maybe I'll play it myself and it'll be even more fun with a movie. You don't exactly. have that. You just, you watch and it and you're the done. Video game, the video game industry is sl like, I don't know how it was initially, but they have slowly realized that and they've, they're, they're fine with that. They've all, well, mostly always been fine with that because they understand the benefits to that. It's such yeah, a they fine like people fucking... streaming their shit. It's such a fine fucking kettle of fish now with this whole copyright boil over. I mean, can you imagine if Rockstar Games, back when they were making the Grand Theft Autos, the classic ones, had to consider the future when people would stream them and play the games completely silent with no music whatsoever? It's it's this weird landscape we're in now where, so think about it, in Grand Theft Auto there's tons and tons and tons of copyrighted music, but now when people stream it and play it they have to turn the radio off and never listen to the in-game music because it's copyrighted. And it's, yeah, but it, it's like even so these companies, you'd think, okay, they're making like games for young people and there's young people working at this company, they're not fucking idiots, right? But even they can't keep up with the times because when you play... The Life is Strange games, they now have a setting in the options menu where it's, they call it streamer mode. 
Yeah. And what it does is yeah. it turns off all of the copyrighted songs, but it doesn't replace yeah. them with anything. Not even yeah. the like room tone. Yeah. It's completely silent. And oh, you go, you get... Jesus, like, did you oh. not take this into account at all? Do you, you can hire somebody on fucking Fiverr for five dollars to just like strum a guitar that's what fucking, for a minute. That's what fucking Cyberpunk did. They have copyrighted music, but in the options you can replace it with like royalty free stock music. Yeah, th- so yes. I, I I don't think any of you guys besides Jackson played a Guardians of the Galaxy game. Jackson, did you play it with copyrighted <laughs> music on or off? Why the f- I, I don't stream. Why would I do that to myself? Oh, I was just curious. <laughs> so I, I I did the streamer mode. It turns all copyrighted music off, with le- which only left me with like two total songs. So for the final battle and the final cutscene, it's supposed to be this parade where a I think it was a Motley Crue song plays. But since I turned it off. All that happens is we silently walk through a parade with the characters occasionally going, yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <God. laughs> and again, awesome. I think God. Twitch, like, I genuinely do think that Twitch is trying its best to let people do whatever the fuck they want, but, which is why a while ago, a couple of years ago, I think they introduced the two track audio streaming where you have now a live track and a VOD track, which means I can stream and if I want to. Not that I've ever done this or would, but I can stream <laughs> like copywritten music or copyrighted music, but it will not be audible on the VOD because in OBS, you can set the two different tracks. Like even Twitch is like wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We know these laws are bullshit, but can you at least try a little and work with us and not stream I, entire I fucking know, Lord of the Rings movies? I don't know how much I agree with that. I think Twitch is absolutely bowing down to corporate DMCA overlord I, dick with all the changes I they've to- made. I totally disagree. I think well, that Twitch, Twitch is a piece to- both. Sure, but yeah, they I, are I, trying. I really that that double track thing showed me that they are trying. Yeah, but exactly. at the same time, this is the same company that muted Metallica's music during their own concert <laughs> on Twitch. <laughs> wait, I feel wait, like those Metallica's like publishing house. That or was something absolutely. Maybe Metallica it. is notorious for that kind of shit. Metallica yeah. probably fucking muted themselves. Yeah, they started like, it. Uh, What's his name? Lars. Lars. Yeah, Lars. Lars Ulrich. Yeah, the dickhead. He, He's the guy that fucking sued Napster into oblivion. Like, it, yeah, it, they're terrible. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Charlie, what were you going to say before, though? You were going to say no, no, something I was about just, Twitch. I was agreeing with Kaya. I think Twitch has done everything they can to make it as like, we understand some of this is bullshit, but can you at least give your best to stay within the rules? Like being able to do copyrighted music and everything on that two track is big like that's a really nice addition that is nice but i still feel like you're kind of backpedaling on what we used to say not that long ago we were talking about how streamers would get banned for accidentally overhearing a song and how like entire vods would get muted because of one single copyrighted song and we were shitting on them for that that's a policy they implemented which and then to counteract that they added that two track feature so you can still do that without the risk and it was never really twitch doing that the dmca is the one that comes after Twitch for those mm-hmm. things for the takedowns. So Twitch had this system that yeah. automatically mutes those that right. are at risk. It's not like they were manually doing it. I, when people got banned for it, it's because the DMCA either took them down or uh, what, what was the other thing at the time? I don't remember, but it was something. It wasn't really Twitch making the executive decisions like they need to come down for well, playing this song. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Like Twitch as a company, why would they not? If they could push a magic button, and just be able to let anybody on their platform stream Metallica and Spotify and shit, they would. Why not? They would get the mixed reviews. And like I said, they tried with the watch along shit, but mm-hmm. it didn't work because how the fuck are you going to make that work? If you're a big streamer and you get like 10,000 viewers, you can't make a watch along. That's like $50,000. Well, they, they still of, uh, do watch alongs. You just need a verified Prime account, but people still do watch alongs. Yeah, watch alongs yeah. is a great yeah, idea know, in but concept. It's just a hard it's, thing to make it never took fun. Off, though. Yeah. yeah, it also kills streams because since you need a verified Prime thing, most people aren't going to go through that. So you'll have like a fucking two thirds of yeah, your viewership drop yeah, off. Yeah, but you switch there's, to there's it. never there's never going to be like an ethical way to give free content. Well, not free paid content to all of your viewers in that capacity. You have to like the, I think the watch along system is the best that you're going to get. You know, I think the watch along uh, yeah. system will get improved. And I how? think that. Go ahead, Charlie. That was Jackson that said how. Well, yeah, I was yeah, to you. you. You're the streamer. Oh, oh, how would they improve it? <laughs> yeah. I think they just make it easier. Like most people use Amazon. It's the biggest company in the world. Most people have access to Amazon. 
It's the only thing that yeah. makes people leave during a watch along is just the tedium and setting it up to their Twitch account or linking it or even making a Twitch account. If they could somehow make that process more streamlined and easy, like, hey, we see you have Amazon. If you just click this button, you can watch this with the streamer. Most people would probably just be like, yeah, I'll click that button real quick. But right now you have to like or fully they... link your account and sign up. I, this, this won't happen. But if they at least set like, or you're a subscriber, that's good enough. Get in and watch. Yeah. But... I don't know. Like, again, I, I have no love for Twitch. <laughs> well established. I don't think any of us are like Twitch fanboys, but I think it is a company that is trying to skirt the legality as much as they can while trying to gain as many viewers as they can and let people just do fun stuff because that's how they make their money. But they are still bound by the DMCA and the only protection they have is uh, Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, which gives them like immunity from the things people do on their platform. And there's only so yeah. much they can do. Twitch can't just say, yeah, okay, go ahead. They have to I at like least that pretend <laughs> that they're trying to work. You even cited the section. That sounded so educated there for a minute. That was fucking nice. Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act is something everybody should know. Because you guys remember when uh, net neutrality went out the window and everybody was like, this is the apocalypse, we're all going to die? If Section 230 goes, that will actually happen to the internet. Because Section 230, if you don't know, what it basically is, is... It essentially says if you're a YouTuber and you make a video, you are not, sorry, if you are YouTube and a YouTuber makes a video that is illegal, you are not liable for it as a company. Or if somebody yeah. in your comment section on your news website threatens the president or some shit, you are not liable for it. That's just mm. some rando and you can't be held accountable for it. If that goes, either every website would have to spend billions of dollars hiring lawyers for every single fucking comment that some schizophrenic leaves, or they just have to shut off the comments. Neither of those things are going to happen. Or stop so allowing people to host it, content through them. Yeah. Yeah. So it is an extremely important uh, thing in the in, in the law. Yeah, but I don't think it would go away Whatever. either. I miss the Wild West internet every single goddamn day of my yeah, life. We, we talk about that a lot. But yeah. what else do you miss, Andrew? Uh, I don't miss any of the marks on my productions when I use Fiverr. Nice. Look, that's right. Fiverr no, uh, is a freelance no website. No video games. <laughs> no. <laughs> From Andrew. Imagine, imagine you're Billy Buttfuckkowski, and you mm -hmm. own one of the biggest record companies on the planet. So you're you're scum. You're like an actual horrible, terrible human being. And you go, oh, I don't want to be him anymore. Oh, I think I'm going to keep imposing limits on people using music and I'm going to keep making sure that no one can listen to these songs outside of my online streaming website that you require an own specific account and subscription for and where I can monitor through your webcam if you're listening to it alone. And if anyone else is in the room, I'm going to send the SWAT team to your house because that's my contract. Thanks, DMCA. So fuck you. But imagine that you're that person and you're ruining everyone else's life. Well, you know what they could do about you? You know what? how they could change the tide? They could just go on Fiverr, hire a freelance musician, hire a singer, a songwriter, hire a composer, hire a pianist, hire something. Hire someone to get that music into their project that they're not going to have to worry about copyright. And they can do that for tons of other things website building, video animation, marketing, data design, tons of other stuff. I've been learning guitar for a while now, and I hop on Fiverr constantly for things I need help with, whether it's transcribing songs or some techniques or something. There's teachers, there's composers, there's all sorts of stuff on Fiverr. I use it probably once a week for things I'm working on, oftentimes more than that, because it's just super, super helpful and convenient. Voice actors are on there. You need someone to read something mm -hmm. for you in a professional, high quality voice? You will literally have them sorted by what kind of voice they have. They'll put like, oh, I do old female voice, or oh, I specialize in children's voices, or I can do big gruff men. Search for the kind of person you want. It's there. Every successful something was once nothing. Head to Fiverr.com and turn nothing into something today. Receive 10% off your first order by using code OP at F-I-V-E-R-R.com. So Fiverr with two R's. That's F-I-V-E-R-R.com, code OP for 10% off. Thank you, Fiverr. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Take note, Square Enix and um, Life is Strange Studio. I forget their name. Deck 9? 
Yeah. Yeah, please go don't to Fiverr. Don't God's nod sake. originally. Don't nod, yeah. yes, thank you. Go to fucking Fiverr for God's sake. Um, so Charlie, I, I noticed a lot of people calling you a hypocrite during the situation because you react to content <laughs> online. Please say it's not true, Charlie. You're what? not a hypocrite, are you, man? Stop being so hypocritical. <laughs> oh. 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 Penguin oh. Zero Spine, more like. That's my two-sentence <laughs> comedy right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. The rumors are true. I react to content as well. I do. I do YouTube nights. I even did MasterChef two years ago, like I said. And Fortune 5. Didn't you get in trouble with Fortune 5? No, I never got in trouble. They just took down all their full episodes. That's all. Yeah. Okay. So what makes your situation different then? I don't watch full shows and <laughs> movies. <laughs> the only time that I'd ever do that and have ever done that is when they are publicly accessible, posted on YouTube for free. So have you ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh? I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Singapore. Yeah, that was that was a bad boy era. That came from an unofficial <laughs> uploader, but I felt like oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Man. Singapore was just something so old that no one knew about that it was probably okay. But you don't get to make the decision. That's what I'm saying. That's up to the, the yeah, right holder. That's, that's not old at all, also. That's a show from the 90s. Yeah, but I, I think Singapore, there's still a though. difference between... You look, that's even you racist? Just because it's from Singapore, you think it's okay to steal that yeah, content? Charlie, you're Charlie your, argument, your argument right now is basically, oh, it's okay that I watched the entirety of Dragon Ball Z. It was in Spanish. That, that is <laughs> what I'm saying. Sense. No! But I only watched it. You guys, you guys are equating you are somebody watching a publicly accessible stream versus somebody logging into their Crunchyroll account. No. And watching something on their own. He never uh, said... Did, was it publicly what? available for free? I don't know how from many times the copyright I holder? Well, no, it was publicly available on YouTube. I don't think it was their copyright holder, but yeah, it was up for years. Then, then you're stealing. That's yeah, stealing. that's still stealing. That's still stealing. <laughs> that's absolutely still theft. That's part that's of the like, problem. That's like if someone uploads the newest Matrix movie on on YouTube and they don't bother yeah. taking it down. Or they look, it might be uploaded by Buttfucker seventy three. That must mean it's free. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, and I, you know what happened? I didn't watch it again. Yeah, now, so now's your chance to apologize to Yu-Gi-Oh! Singapore. And the entire nation of Singapore, yeah. No, I don't regret it. And the streamers. Sure great. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do it again, too. <laughs> He's a psychopath, you must be stopped. <laughs> You're like the Joker. It's funny and I'm tired mm. of pretending it's not. <laughs> Charlie's a new DC villain whose whole motivation is, it's okay if it's from Singapore. <laughs> Everything goes to Singapore. <laughs> okay, I have another question. Charlie, a week or two ago, what was that take a pick a side YouTube shit all about? Because I knew uh, your name was being yeah. thrown around. I is this something we can talk about? Are you comfortable? Is this something or? we did on Patreon a while ago? <laughs> no, nah, that this, this, this was a, no, this is like it's recent something we've, and it, it's something we've talked about before though. It's how YouTube, like when you cover a dark subject, like unfairly will censor, like uh, find mm -hmm. a reason to take down the video. So a content yeah. creator named Mama Max had that happen. So then he did this pick a side thing because the, the content that got taken down was he exposed like this big group of pedophiles that preyed on kids on IMV or, or something or whatever game it was. I don't remember now. And they took down the video for a bogus reason. So his response was to drum up a shitstorm with the pick a side YouTube thing, children or pedophiles which completely misses the point of the argument he was making, which is like, hey, censorship is bad. You know, I'm here to talk about some dark things. I shouldn't be, you know, silenced for it just because the people are evil. I, it's still important to talk about because they're a threat to kids. So by keeping it under wraps, it makes more victims. It was a really good point. And I a topic saw... we've just... Yeah, sorry. I, I was just going to say, I saw the video and I... It was very difficult to sit through because he does this cringe voice. I don't know if it's him or the, somebody he hired to narrate, but it's like somebody doing a Batman voice. Like, YouTube, you have crossed me for the last time. That's and you know what voice. I'm going to call out. That's that his is not his real voice. voice. It's no, like it an is. anonymous, I I'm going to mail the si Church of Scientology no. Well, no, a bunch of bullshit it. to waste their ink voice. I'm, sh I'm sure there's a voice. filter on it, but that is almost like, because yes. I, I talked to him afterwards. That is almost well, he his could have been voice. using the filter on you. I think he was on his phone. <laughs> I guess he could have, though. But yeah. No, I don't no, know, man. Well, it's really cringe. And then at the channel. end, he... 
he does what you said. He brings up the YouTube shits, but then he tries to he made it like personal and at the end brought up a bunch of uh, cringe drama between him and some other YouTuber. I forget, but he was like, you crossed me before, corpse, and I've been there for you when you wouldn't even pick up the phone. So now I'm giving you an ultimatum tweet at YouTube <laughs> protect children. It's like, do you really are you really trying to help people or is this just. I don't know. Are, are you trying to like settle a personal vendetta here? It was definitely the right message executed yeah. the wrong way. Did he <laughs> execute the message the wrong way or is it just the way that the internet took it? Well, well I guess no, the video that he made us pick aside YouTube. Well, yeah, the, even that would be fine, right? But he framed it as pick a side and the sides are children or pedophiles. It's like that doesn't That's really... That's pretty disingu disingenuous. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't really cover the topic. Yeah, works, we got to weigh it, the pros and cons of that. <laughs> it worked for him because they did finally reach out in order to talk about his video strikes. But like it misses the point of what should have actually been the topic of discussion that YouTube needs to fix. Do you think... Uh, lovely Susan, CEO of YouTube, was surprised when she got that memo <laughs> on her desk that day. <laughs> what do you mean? It's Why is this 4chan? <laughs> this 4chan anonymous dork is threatening me. <laughs> yeah, I, she's I, I eating definitely... like a five hundred dollars steak. I did, I just checked the uh, the video just to hear the voice that Kai's talking about. It definitely sounds like there's a filter on it, Charlie. There's, I, I, I have no doubt there's a filter on it, but that is very close to his actual talking voice unless of course he was like putting it on for when i talked to him as well but it is pretty close to how he actually sounds i i it's like, it's like the corpse thing right yeah he, he has a very similar kind of like deep raspy voice to corpse and that kind of stuff does and he was calling tr up trigger me to the same way that kai like, does kai gets you're right. gonna help me or else i <laughs> Wait, he said know. that about corpse. Yeah. yeah it, well, yeah, he brought up like drama corpse, between one him of and them. corpse. What? Yeah, he like brought up personal drama between when like if you're trying to save. The, can you imagine if in a Marvel movie Iron Man stopped and brought up petty bullshit between him and yeah, uh, wait, like what? Captain America? Like, uh, I'm gonna stop Thanos, but I need you, Captain America. Hey, remember these messages you sent me? And then he just held up his phone to the screen. Like that's that was what this that was in this like. pick aside video. Yeah, yeah, in order to get more people talking about it, he brought in like other creators and one of them was Corpse that I think he had a problem with at some point. Oh my god. I mean, it's he really hard to take out. this shit seriously uh, then. Jesus Christ. Yes, that's that's the problem. Like he called out a bunch of creators by name, Jackson, but he was like so I don't know, personally offended that they weren't his friends <laughs> and that they weren't there for him in his time of need before and all that sort of stuff so it just reeked man the there's always there's always some really kind of caveat with these kinds of things like the whole EDP investigation like a good thing happened but in the worst way possible yeah. and it's just like it happens all the time with these YouTube sh this YouTube shit and I hate it because it's just so disingenuous yeah it's it was a bit unfortunate overall I think the message was in the right place yeah. executed terribly someone in chat did bring something up that I wanted to mention before we wrap do you guys know the Theranos situation? Do you guys ever heard of that? Yeah, yes. with mm -hmm. Elizabeth the Holmes from Endgame. Yes. What kind of? It's, <laughs> with yeah, Elizabeth Holmes joke. Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, I'll talk about it. Go ahead. Yeah. So she was found guilty to break down the situation. Theranos was this medical device that she she brought to light. It had billions in funding from like investors and everywhere. Mm -hmm. It was basically a machine where you'd give like, I think, it, I think you give a little blood to it and it would analyze your blood and tell you everything wrong with you or everything about you. It'd give you all the possible information you'd ever need to know about your health in one single small fax machine. Did we talk about this previously on the show? Because I don't remember any Prob of this. Probably no, had, years ago if we did. About... This, isn't, no. this is an older story, but the yeah, like Charlie said, the deal was one drop huh. of blood and it tells you any disease you may have. Like, oh, do you have huh. HIV? Yeah, do you have cancer? Remember... Do you have COVID? Whatever. And Andrew, and I don't remember that, hearing anything about sounds... this. This is brand new to me. If that sounds too good to be true, Andrew, it's because it was. It what? was complete, it was completely fake. So oh. the machine the machines they actually yeah. came out with were totally wrong. Not even remotely close or accurate or useful. So all their patients 
like some of them were diagnosed with shit from that machine and got treatment for things they never had, which is obviously oh a fucking disaster. Really? Yep. Oh my god. Uh, and as a result of all this, one of her employees, I think it was one of her employees, finally brought it to light. Like she knew the machines were wrong, nothing could be trusted, but she kept pumping it and pushing it for more and more money and more and more investors, hoping her end game was hoping eventually the technology would catch up and they'd actually be able to make them useful. But it never happened. Uh, the whole thing got blown wide open. And then just the other day, she was finally, after a long trial, this woman's fucking evil. This trial was supposed to happen a year ago, but she decided to get pregnant right before it to get like a, a postpone on the trial for pregnancy. The strategy. Yep. And then finally it happened uh, a few days ago. The verdict was she was found guilty on a decent bit of the charges. I think it was like, like four of the big 12 she was found guilty on. And none of them were on the patients. So all of the patients, they didn't get shit. That's... She, yeah, that's she was what found, bothers me. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. They, going. they found her guilty of defrauding investors, lying to investors, making oh, all this God. phony money. Oh, thank you. Thank God. God. That's what thank always God. annoys me with these, like, in stories like this, it's always... Do you guys remember um, Martin Shkreli? They, call, yeah. they yeah. called him, like, Wall Street the Bro or bro. something? Pharma Bro. The Pharma, Pharma Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. piece of shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was just like weasel, but he scammed a lot of people out of money, but none of it mattered until he scammed Wall Street. That's yep. when they dragged him to court and made an example out of it. And this is this sounds familiar to that. It's History like, fucking repeats woman, itself. You remember Al Capone, how he went to fucking jail on tax evasion when people knew for decades <laughs> yeah. he was already a powerful yes. mobster? Like, well, if you want to get into that, yeah, the the whole yeah. the war on drugs was never on drugs. It was always about tax evasion, and and again, this is the same thing. Like, it doesn't matter that this woman ruined a bunch of people's lives. The only thing that matters is that she fucked a bunch of investors out of money. So, what's her verdict? It's all money. Does she, she is she actually gonna go to jail, or does she just sit at yes. home with an ankle monitor? No, I I believe with these charges and why I'm like kind of okay with it she's facing a minimum of 20 years so she it's killed like, people right she yeah she mm, fucking ruined really. lives though didn't she, she definitely ruined lives i don't think anyone died uh, i don't think anyone died as a result of using is anyone device. irreversibly mm. damaged that i don't know but i think what what i've also read can happen is those patients that were scammed by her and ultimately had their lives drastically changed as a result of those diagnoses I believe they are also now entitled to a lawsuit against her, which they will most likely pursue and win. Yeah, I would assume Good. so, since it's a guilty verdict. Yeah. Um, my issue is, is this like a Martha Stewart situation where the jail sentence is in like a country club prison for rich people, where there's like nice tennis courts and shit, and it's like a holiday? Mm. Or is I she can't, actually going I can't imagine she goes yeah, there. Or, or she like herself, I said, she just gets yeah. house arrest. Yeah, no, she herself, like, she wasn't, like, a billionaire. She wasn't very powerful. It was her company that everyone was investing in. And I guess her as the figurehead of the company. But she isn't, like, a... Uh, I just don't think she's, like, a Martha Stewart case where she's, like, a celebrity who's going to get special treatment. Her dad was the... Oh, uh, God, what was he? Like, the chief executive officer of Exxon or something? I don't remember now, but he no, also yeah, had, like... He had like a huge history of scamming too. So this yeah. was just another <laughs> notch in that belt. Yeah, you, you, surely you've heard, heard about that company. What was it, Exxon? I think it was Exxon. Her dad is Christian Holmes. And I can't remember, but it was something. Yeah, Andrew, you recommended a documentary to me ages ago that I watched that was about the whole Exxon scandal, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Smartest People in the Room. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was really all good. about how Exxon just was like, God, it's so complicated to explain, and I recommend it to anyone listening, but it's about how Exxon was a company that they would contract to build things and do things, and they'd go, yeah, we got it, and then they would just sit and do absolutely nothing <laughs> <laughs> and make millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> doing nothing by the way charlie you're thinking of enron her father enron. Was enron. oh enron, enron not exxon yeah, yeah. yeah that's, uh, it was an mm -hmm. e word i knew that enron not exxon mm -hmm. yeah 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 can, can you the guess enron. Yeah, and so enron was a big like meme in the when uh, shortly after it happened like when did that happen the, the 90s right it's been a long time since i watched this 
So, uh, yeah, this shit was going on like the 90s, the 2000s, and it was a big like joke around that time to be like, ah, Enron, it's like pulling an Enron. Ah, that thing failed. It's like Enron. But, you know, now it's kind of not really talked about anymore. I can't recommend enough someone watch a documentary on it. It's fucking fascinating. It was yeah, such well, a rug pull. So you said Kenneth Lay? Did you say Kenneth Lay was the father of Christian of Holmes, a former uh, Enron vice president? Yeah, Kenneth Christian Lay Rasmus is the guy who Holmes founded Enron. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me what Martha Stewart did, Jackson? Because I didn't know uh, about that. She, just she did insider tax. trading. Yeah, it was like tax uh, evasion or something. As no, well. it was it was insider trading. That means she manipulated uh, the stock market. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't as, anything I, as extreme as this, but it still no. Hurt people she play. was nothing but like white collar crime. So she, her jail was basically a resort, and then she got out, and everyone was like, "Ha ha, Martha, don't do it again." Tee hee. <laughs> <laughs> silly, <laughs> silly old Martha. Yeah. Well, no, really, that's Are literally still, what happened. She came back and immediately had a bunch of TV shows, and now yeah. she still has a yeah. successful TV show. It was right. the same. Oh, you. you you avoided a hundred million dollars in taxes. Okay, pay a one million dollar fine, bitch. Yeah. Do it again. Well, now get she back, does tons of shit with Snoop Dogg. Nice yeah, she, she does tons of shit with Snoop Dogg now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Martha Stewart's a wacky character. She went from America's mom to like giant super business criminal, criminal and then back to America's mom, but with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking cute. <laughs> I can't be mad at her. As far as crimes go, the one I care the least about is someone not paying their taxes. It's like, uh, yeah. oh yeah, I, it's like, oh you didn't you didn't pay the war machine thing. How dare you? Fuck you. Oh no. On that note, before you wrap up, uh, Andrew, I actually have a documentary recommendation for you. It's by Werner Herzog. It's called Into the Inferno. It's about volcanoes, and at some point, it starts <laughs> becoming about. North Korea? Because apparently North Koreans have a volcano in the middle of their country. Ooh. So I figured you might enjoy that. Uh, okay. Yeah, was what else did... Herzog's else really cares. famous. What else did he do? I have no Mostly idea. Movies, I know right? he was in Jack Reacher. He has mm. a cool accent, that's all I know. I don't yeah, know anything I, else he's oh, done. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, he's done a good handful of movies. Okay. Cool. Yeah, he's, he's done a lot with Nicolas Cage, I think. Yeah, I don't he know has. Why I Nicholas, Nick Cage. Yeah, he did Wild Blue Yonder. Uh, ba Bad, Bad Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Yeah, Bad Lieutenant yeah. is the one I was thinking of. Yeah. yeah, he's done a lot of movies. Okay, cool. I might check that out. Sounds fun. Alrighty. That does it for this episode of the official podcast. Thank you to everyone for listening. And we have a Patreon over at patreon.com slash the official podcast with bonus episodes. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, some bonus movie content. stuff going up there. Currently mm -hmm. going up, yeah. Me and me and Kaya might be watching the new Star Wars uh, show together, but oh. we won't be posting the entire show up on Patreon. Hosting it or there. Twitch, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just it be will be voices. transformative. Also, yes. I will hopefully this week be uploading more plenty of fish content with me and Brady. Um, so look forward to all of that. Awesome. That's over at patreon.com slash the official podcast. And we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.